Yo, what's up guys? Roblox has been releasing a bunch of new limited items recently, but they've all been doing terrible and they've been selling way under the original price. For example, this Burberry bag originally came out for 800 Robux, but now it's selling for under 500. Same with this Burberry bag, came out for the same price and it's selling for 499. The most recent limited item to come out, the George Ezra white fedora, is also selling under. The original price was 500 Robux and now it's selling for 450. And this is the same with pretty much any of the new limited you look at. They've all been selling at way under the original price and honestly they might not even be worth buying. There's definitely a few exceptions here and there of items that actually end up doing really good and they're actually profitable for you. But for the most part, all these new limited items have been failing and selling way under that original price. Personally, I like to buy all the new limited items that come out, but if you look at the selling prices of them, they're all just doing terrible and they're really not worth buying for the most part. Like look at this item for example. The original price is 900, but it's currently selling at 500 Robux. Even if you used the 40% method on this item and saved 40% off, you would have still lost a lot of Robux. However, for most items, if you use the 40% method, it's definitely worth buying. Because if you get 40% off an item, and most people aren't going to. So you're going to make a lot of profit with the 40% method. But if you're not using it, honestly, I don't think I recommend buying new limited items that come out. Like these new 8-bit items, for example, I honestly don't even think they're worth buying. I genuinely think that every single one of them is actually going to fail and are going to end up actually making you lose profit. Even though some of them are really cheap, I still think that they're going to be selling way under and you're going to end up losing if you buy them. If you use the 40% method, obviously you're pretty calm on anything you buy. The 40% method can make you so much profit, so I definitely recommend it if you do want to buy the new limited items that come out. But even if you look at some of these older limited items that have been out for over a year now, even these items are doing terrible. The Gucci Wyvern Felt Hat is only selling for 423 Robux. The Gucci Diamond Frame Glasses only for 450. And the Gucci Horsebit 1955 shoulder bag is only selling for 450 Robux as well. Some of them are even selling under, like this Gucci item that originally came out for 700 Robux, but now it's 500 only. So honestly, moving forward, if Robux doesn't decide to do limited U items, or it doesn't make these items a little bit harder to get, more unobtainable for the average person, I honestly don't know if it's even worth buying these new limited items that come out. Full disclosure, I'm gonna keep buying them because I just like having all the items that come out. And if you use the 40% method, you'll probably make pro a little bit of profit or at the very least, you'll break even. But I honestly think that a lot of these items are way too expensive and it's really not a good purchasable price. Almost every single limited item that has come out for more than 500 Robux has failed. Basically, all of these Burberry bags failed and they were all 800, but there's only two that are selling over 800, which is kind of crazy. The Gucci Glam Rock shoulder pads, which were 900 each, both are failing. One is at 500 and one is only at 800. The Vans North Face Snowboard is only 600 now. The original price was 500, so you maybe made a little bit of profit, but if you sell it, you end up losing Robux. The Gucci Feather and Crystals item that I mentioned earlier obviously is failing. Originally came out for 700, now it's only 500. Same with the Gucci guitar case, which was originally 900 and is now only 440 Robux. And there's definitely a lot more of these items that I just didn't mention that failed that were over 500. So what I'd probably recommend for you guys is maybe buy the cheaper items that are selling for under 500, but the ones that are over are probably not worth buying. If you use the 40% method, it might be decent, but without it, it's definitely terrible. I definitely think these 8-bit items are gonna tell us a lot about future limited items because they're the first non-sponsored limited in a long time. So they're going to tell us a lot about the future of trading on Roblox. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think the new limiteds that are coming out are worth buying or not? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.